Hi guys, it's Romina. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I do reverse stamping with this beautiful Hawaiian shirt inspired manicure. But if you're new to stamping, please check out my previous video before this one because this one is a little more advanced. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and let's get started. So reverse stamping is basically a normal regular stamping but then you have to color that image that you got in the first place and then transfer it back to your nail. So I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to need a stamper or several stampers, also scrapers, a dotting tool if your image is more rounded or a detailed nail art brush, which I prefer. First, I'm gonna start doing several tests with this very simple design. So you have to just pick it up as you normally would with normal stamping. If you haven't seen my video on stamping, I will link it here so you can check that out first. And then you can grab your detailed nail art brush and start filling out the space inside your picture. I'll be using the Sear Colors Super Freak Retail Therapy Cyber and Edonist to fill this uh, design and you have to be very careful not to smudge the black underneath so it's very soft the movement that you have to do with the brush. So this is how it looks like and once it's dry there are several things you can do. First you can just put the lid on your stamper and save your design for later. Sometimes maybe you don't have the time to do it at the same time that you do your manicure so you can do several stampers if you have more than one and just keep them with the lid on until you could use them. So this is a great way just to save your work and save a lot of time. So what I do when I want to transfer the design onto my nail I apply one coat of the Orly Bonder base coat just to recover that stickiness in my nail and then I just stamp the design onto my nail. So this is what it looks like and you can apply then the smudge free top coat and maybe another top coat on top of that just to get a smooth finish and finish the look. The other thing you could do is just apply a clear base or clear polish on top of your design to get some sort of a deco. I just find that this technique is such a pain, not a beginner friendly technique at all. So try to be careful if you leave the film too thin or if the polish is not completely dry, you may have a lot of problems. So here for example, uh, the, the stamper was too sticky, so when I tried to take it off I had to apply too much pressure and the lines are going to get distorted and you can have this problem. Try to use several clear polishes just to see how it works for you because this one for example it started disappearing on the borders, so what I did was just fix it with a thicker one, uh, but I don't recommend you to use completely the um, dry fast top coat because it's gonna, you're gonna have a very stiff deco. So uh, it has to be flexible enough to adapt to the natural curvature of your nail, but it has to be thick enough to be able for you to take it off the stamper without stretching it too much and without breaking it. So it's quite complicated, you don't have to do this technique. If you have several stampers, you can do the first one that I show you, which I think is way easier. If you want to storage your decals, you can keep them in the stamping place sleeve just to make sure that they're straight. And then when you're ready to use it, you can just take it off with some tweezers. Then you can apply a coat of the Orly Bonder base coat or sticky base coat that Manology has and then place your decal on top of your nail and you can dab it with your fingers until it's completely transferred. Moving on to my manicure for today, I'm going to apply my base coat and then I'm going to apply a base color, this is Licorice from Essie, it's a black nail polish and I'm just going to apply as a base two coats just to make sure that it's completely opaque. Then I'm gonna apply liquid latex just to avoid the mess and you can also use tape in this part. For the background, I'll be using two greens and a yellow and I'll be using also the WhatsApp Nails B028 stamping plate with this design. So what I wanted to do is just mix all the colors in the plate and then you can just scrape it and you're gonna have something like this in a gradient and I'll be placing this in all my nails as a background. Then I remove the liquid latex and this is how it looks like. For the next step, I'm gonna need this tool. It's a dotting tool. You can do it with an orange stick and you can wrap a piece of tape around it. 
and just continue with the stamping. In this case, I'm using a flower design here. And with the tool I just made, I'm just gonna take off all the rest of the design that I'm not gonna need. So everything that is not the flower, I'm just gonna take it off. Then I'll be filling in this flower with the Cirque Colors Flamingo. This color is a very sheer color. So I will use two coats in this flower. After the first one is a little bit dry, I will go with the second one just to make sure that the color is opaque. And this is how it looks like. You can also paint the design only on the head of your stamper on the table, but then you have to be very careful when you put it back. Then just to make sure that it's completely dry, I'm just gonna touch it. And I'm gonna apply the base coat, the Orly Bonder again with the same detail brush just to cover the complete figure before transferring to the nail. After 30 seconds or 45, the design will be ready to be stamped. So this is what it looks like and it transferred completely. Then I'm gonna repeat the same process for my middle finger. Now I'm using Day Tripper from Sear Colors and I'll be doing the same thing. This collection is very sheer, so I'm both, I'm using two coats to completely cover the design. Then I will apply a coat of the base coat in my design just to make sure that the flower is thick enough to transfer onto my nail. And this is what it looks like with both flowers. I will apply also a coat of the smudge free top coat in all my nails just to make sure that the design is completely sealed and avoid any smudge and for my thumb i did the same thing but i added the two flowers in the same finger then i also like to apply one coat of the dry fast top coat just to make sure that i have that smooth and shiny finish in, in all of my nails and last step as always i apply cuticle oil just to make sure that my cuticles don't get dry and this is the final result so i really love this one i think it's very simple to do let me know what you think of the technique in the comments below and here are the pictures for this manicure thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye